Today's Tuesday tax tip has to do with IRS audits. As many of you know, the funding to the IRS has been cut significantly over the past few years, and you would think that that would result in less audits. Um, however, uh, the IRS has become a lot more automated over recent years, and many of the audits are now generated through computer programs. Now, what I mean by that is basically all information that the IRS receives from taxpayers, whether they e-file it, meaning that you guys already put in, or your tax preparers already put in your information and it gets sent to the IRS, or whether you file by paper and someone down at the IRS has to actually enter it, everything eventually winds up on a computer. The computers then match uh, or, or align your return along with previous years of your own return, as well as returns of other Americans. And whenever anything or looks a little odd to them, they um, tend to ask questions. So some of the more common things that will cause an audit are the following. Um, if you type in an incorrect number, in other words, the IRS will get a W-2 from your employer uh, because, they, because, they're, because your employer has to file a copy with the IRS. So let's say your W-2 says you made $82,000, you made a mistake, and for some reason you typed in $68,000. Um, obviously, they're going to send you a notice on this. Most of the time, that will just be a notice, and you can simply rectify that uh, without a major problem. Um, if you have a one-time item, um, you have a large sale, you have a huge deduction, just something that falls out of the norm of your return, that could cause you an issue. Um, if you are someone who is separated or divorced from uh, from a spouse, that could cause you an issue if you both happen to claim uh, the same dependent for one year. Next thing would be excessive itemized deductions. You know, obviously, if the IRS looks at your return and they see your income is at a certain level, but your deductions seem out of line for that, that income level, that could cause you an issue. If you make over a million dollars a year, are more apt to get audited. In fact, the statistics I had read said roughly 50% of audits uh, occur to people that are making more than a million dollars a year. This makes sense because the IRS is a business like any other, and if you're going to audit somebody, they want to get the most bang for their buck. However, if your income is too low, that will also cause you issues, especially if you happen to be in business for yourself. Realize that as a self-employed person, you already have a bullseye on your back, so be careful. Uh, I'm not certainly not suggesting that you don't take the deductions uh, that you're allowed, and that's why I strongly urge anybody who is self-employed uh, to go out and, and use a professional tax preparer because they're going to have, first of all, a better idea of the deductions you're allowed than you are. Plus, if you do wind up in a situation where, you, where you're getting audited, you definitely want to have professional representation. You want to have somebody who's been there already. Hope these tips help you out. I'll see you again next week.